Hi, I'm Andy Skinner and I'm here today with Creative Expressions to film a video using the new Cosmic Shimmer Lava Paste. I'm going to show you how to bring out the textures with paint and to really make it pop and a couple of different ways we're going to apply it as well. So I've got two of the MDF squares here. One of them I will pop some lava paste down into the center and on the other I'm going to use a sponge and a stipple brush. So just pick up some of the lava paste on a sponge the thicker you apply this the thicker the texture Okay, then I go just in with a stipple brush around the edges. And for this square, we're going to use the brayer. This gives us a kind of a tree bark effect. to hold on to but we get there. There we go. So we just dry this. Do remember to put your tops back on your, your paste to stop any of it drying up. So we just heat these now for around about two minutes. And as you start to see it go bright white, you know that's now starting to bubble and set. There we go. So this is ready to paint straight away. You don't need any primer. It will just grab the paint. So I'm going to go in first. On one of them with Bin Light Black, which is the Cosmic Shimmer chalk paint, and one of them with the chalkboard chalk paint. And this is just going to be a base coat, a background colour. So we're going with black on the heavily textured. And really work it down into all that texture. If the texture is really thick, then go in with a stencil brush, the stipple brush. Okay, and I get around the edges. So this one I will go in with the grey, the chalkboard. And again, get the edges. And we just give that a quick dry. Okay. So we're now going to start a process called dry brushing. You want a flat brush for this. You want some kitchen towel. Um, we're just going to load a little bit of the white chalk paint just onto the edge of the brush and then we're going to take most of that paint off. And then we're going to start just lightly building up the white on the texture. Again, back in to the white.
one little tip for dry brushing, especially with white, if you've got napkins that are black or a deeper colour, you can actually see how much paint you're taking off when you're going onto kitchen towel. You just got to make sure you get most of it off. So you see already now that's really bringing out that texture. Go over to this one. So I'm going to do a second coat now, just to make the white pop a little bit more. And the other thing I'd say is to keep the brush go at different angles. Don't just go in one direction, keep turning it at different angles and that'll help pick up all those peaks of the texture. Okay, I just put those to the side to dry because we are going to put some extra colours on top of that. So while they're drying, I just want to show you another technique of applying the lava paste and colour in it. So take some lava paste. You want a, a stipple brush or a stencil brush for this. I'll take two lots. And then just add a little bit of water. And you can spatter it. And then we heat that, you'll get risen spatters. But we can also colour it as well. So with this one, I'll take a little bit of the red chalk paint, a little bit of water. And when we heat that, you'll get lots of little raised spatters. There we go. So the fact that you can colour it as well and it still works is great. I wouldn't add probably more than maybe 10% to 20% of the colour to it, because you might then find it doesn't raise. But that's enough to get that colour. So we will go back on to our first two texture pieces. So we're going to dry brush again. So I'm going to take all the moisture out of my brush. And I'm going to start with Shallow Sea, the matte chalk paint. Same technique again, just laid the edge of the brush. So I'm going to have a few different blues in there. And this is the beach teal, which is a lovely colour. So I'm not covering all over each time, just different areas. We're going to take Citron Beach. Take that paint off. And we'll go in with a little bit of the red velvet. And 
Again, make sure your brush is dry. There you go, so there's that one. And we do the wood effect one now. So I'm going to go with the chalkboard, but I'm going to mix white with the chalkboard. This chalkboard is really good for doing rusty effects. Uh, the colour, when we put our top coat over that, it really, really pops it out. And I'm going to go in with a little bit of the teal. And then some of the rust oxide. So this will give you slight green tones when it heat hits the teal. And where it hits the grey, you're going to get these more rust tones. And just keep building up the layers until you're happy with it. Now you notice that I don't really do pinks and glitters because I'm not really a, a pink and glitter person. But you can do this with metallic paints, um, with lusters. There you go, so two different kind of effects with the dry brushing. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I will be back again soon with some more videos. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.